hey it's Daps here welcome to my youtube channel and in this tutorial briefly we just want to look into there's been a critical error on this website and in this tutorial i want to show you two easy way for you to solve this problem so and if this is your first time you are having this issue on your wordpress i need to tell you relax there's nothing to worry about you would go through issues like this from time to time if you are working with wordpress as far as you are using themes you are using plugins on your wordpress you are updating uh, you would have issues like this okay so now that you're relaxed the question i'll ask you is what were you doing before you ran into this error because that will make it very easy for you to know exactly what had gone wrong with your wordpress website if you don't have a clue what could have led to the error then there's nothing to really worry about because i'll still show you how to solve this problem real quick so after this text here it says please check your site admin email inbox for instruction so we need to go to our emails and check out for an email from wordpress so after opening up my email i have this email here that say your site is experiencing a technical issue so most times this email gets sent to you it won't even be your inbox it could just be somewhere in your junk files or in your spam folder you need to open up those emails to check out for an email that is carrying your site name and also your site is experiencing a technical issue so if you open up this email it will tell you more about the error you are having uh, so you can see wordpress has a built-in feature that detects when a plugin or a team cause a fatal error on your site and notifies you with this automated email and then you can see if you come down here you see your site uh you see your site url here and it says check for visibility issues next visit this page on your website we've been able to check our website to see that we have uh, a critical error on our website but if you check this url here it's saying wp admin slash themes dot php and this literally happened when i was trying to activate a team and you can see that activated equals true and then when that team was activated I ran into that error and if I come down here you can also see error details about what is going wrong most time if it's a plugin issue you will also be able to see from the details sent to you here about the plugin that is causing the error on your website so this is leading me to the first step which is called the recovery mode for you to recover back your website so this link here will take you to your wordpress dashboard but however it will be in a recovery mode uh, but you will now be able to access your theme and you'll be able to deactivate that theme and once you deactivate that theme you see a link on your admin bar that will tell you to exit recovery mode i did a tutorial around this uh, some years back so you can make reference to that tutorial easiest way for you to uh, recover your website i have seen a lot of comments on that video specifically people saying they have not received emails like this from wordpress i have run into issues like this many times and i would come to my inbox i would check out for emails like this from wordpress and i won't get it uh, so if you are in that category of people who is not getting this email or you rather want to solve things yourself i want to show you exactly how to do that so what you need to do is to go to your hosting account in my own case here uh this website that i have issues with is hosted with ipage so i will just come to my file manager but you can go to your control panel whatever hosting you are using uh go to your file manager and go to exactly where your wordpress is installed uh, in my own case here these are my wordpress files what i would do is to come to wp content uh, so you can open up uh, those folders and then i'll come to themes so what i want to do to this team is for me to deactivate this team i can just easily click on the team and then i can uh, come to the far right here and then i'll just try to rename this team for a default c panel you can just right click that theme and then you should see option for to rename uh, for me i can just put iphone old for example and then i'll hit ok in your own situation if you don't even know what must have caused the issue you can just literally just come to your wp content generally uh, your plugin files generally just rename it or rename your theme you can rename the plugin first if you go back to your website if your site is live then you'll know that one of your plugin is causing the issue 
as so once the site is back you can rename this file back to plugins and then you can then deactivate all those plugins and then start activating them one at a time to check which one is causing the problem so now if i come back to my wordpress so now let me refresh this and it's still showing that there's a critical error on my website but i would have to copy this url and perhaps open this in an incognito window for me to be sure this may have just been crashed into my browser so in case you've done that and you are coming here you are checking because i'm so sure that theme is what is causing the problem when i have solved that problem so i can just go to incognito mode and then i'll paste this here so you can see, uh, you can see that uh, my website is, uh, my WordPress is coming up right now and that's it. Now signing back in, I now have access back to my WordPress dashboard. So if I come to appearance and come to themes now, you can see that this theme itself is broken and then just because I have changed uh, the file name, so I can just easily uh i can easily just activate astra team another team entirely so after doing this so i've solved the problem of what's causing the issue for the critical error if it were a plugin you can just go to your plugins uh you can come to plugins you can come to install plugins and once you add plugins you can literally just see the plugin causing the error you can deactivate it or literally just delete the plugin even from here, I can come to appearance and come to themes and then literally just delete this theme here. If I don't want to use that theme anymore, but if I still want to use the theme, maybe I'm just, uh, maybe the version of the theme I'm using is causing the error. I may want to downgrade the theme or just do something. So I can literally come back here and then rename back this theme back to portal theme. And then I will just i save it back and then I now have uh, that that theme back reinstalled back to WordPress. So I can now use that theme again. But most likely if I activate that theme as it is again, I will run into the same error. So it's the same thing. Just like I was saying before, if you are not sure exactly what is causing the problem for the critical error in your own situation, just go to the entire uh, plugin or theme files, deactivate them. Uh, so do that one after the other so if you come to your wp content for example just this plugin files just right click and then rename the plugins uh, so once you rename the plugin you can just call plugin hold go back to your website open it in maybe in a private window most preferably to see if your website is live and the error is gone if it is not uh, then you are sure that a plugin is not causing the problem you can uh, rename it back to plugins and then do the same for your team either of both would be causing a critical error on your website and that's it uh, thank you for your time i believe this tutorial has been useful if it has give me a thumbs up uh if you have any issues let me know in the comments and also if this tutorial has been able to help you recover back your website from this critical error on wordpress let me know in the comment section again i'll be looking out for that Thank you and that's my time for this tutorial. Subscribe so that you don't miss out any awesome WordPress tutorials from me. I would see you in another video and until then, make sure you have a nice time. Bye for now.